What's up everyone? My name is Michelle and we are getting into Captain America, the first Avenger. But first I want to say thank you all so much for clicking on this video. If you could give it a like. Oh, and you can find the full length reactions up on Patreon as well as earlier reactions and you know all that jazz on how Patreon works. So I don't have to get into that. Oh, but as for my patrons, you can just jump to the timestamp and you'll hear your shout out. If you're new to Patreon, I go ahead and I add your name every time. So you can just jump to the timestamp and get your shout out. Now, Captain America. The only thing I know about Captain America is we're beating up Nazis and who doesn't like a good Nazi beat down? So let's just get into this. I'm excited for this one because I really don't know much about Steve Rogers. When I think about it, I really didn't know much about their origin stories. I just know what they look like since, I mean, you have to be living under, under a rock not to know what like Marvel is and what these actors and characters look like. But in terms of their origin story, I didn't really know much about anything other than, you know, like I said, Captain America, he fights Nazis. That much I do know about him. So you know what? Grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is you like to do when you want your favorite reactions, just get comfortable and let's get to it. What is it? My God. Base. Let me see, what is it? It's, oh. This one's waited long enough. Ah, it's a shield. So, 1942. Ah, creative little emblem. You scream villain, sir. What the hell? Hey, isn't that the wreck was the jewel of Odin's treasure room? Odin's treasure? Yeah, isn't that the thing we saw at the end of Thor? Oh, it's not real. Clever. You cannot control the power you hold. You will burn! I already have. <gasps> no! What the hell? Why didn't he touch his cheek that way? That's the thing that, um... They showed at the end of Thor, the box looky thing, the glowy bluey thingy that he showed to Eric Selvig. Oh, Rogers. this looks so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness, your head is so big for your body. Asthma, Scarlet Fever. Sorry, son. Oh my goodness. You've been eligible on your asthma alone. <gasps> alone, like a whole long list of things. Damn. For uh... War continues to. So he has all of that against him, and yet he still wanted to enlist. Hmm. Hey, just start the cartoon! Hey, you wanna shut up? Right? Together with allied forces, we'll face any threat, no matter the size. Oh, oh, <coughs> oh my god, no! How can- Why are you beating up someone so small? Oh! So how does he become big? You just don't know when to give up, do you? I'm gonna do this all day. I love his heart. Like, he's so small, and yet he still wanted to enlist. He's so sickly, and yet he still wanted to size. enlist. No! <laughs> A literal kick in the ass. Sometimes I think you like getting punched. No. I had him on the ropes. You get your orders? The 107th. Sergeant James Barnes, shipping out for England. James Barnes. World Exposition of Tomorrow. I hey, see what the that, is. is this the Stark Expo that we saw in uh, Iron Man Two? That looks like that big thing that Rhodey and Tony went through. Is he trying to enlist again? <laughs> ah, I thought it was Tony trying. Tony, Steve. What do you want me to do? Collect scrap metal yes. in my little red wagon? Why not? I'm not going to sit in the factory, Bucky. Bucky, come on. There are men laying down their lives. I got no right to do any less than them. 
I'm pretty sure you're the dude I saw from Hunger Games. <laughs> well, what a stark difference. But given how sickly he is in his uh, physique, he, he might actually end up being a hindrance. If like other people have to stop to look out for him and protect him. Maybe he's fine with that. Maybe he's fine being like cannon fodder in a way. Do you want to kill Nazis? I don't want to kill anyone. I don't like bullies. I don't care where they're from. Maybe what we need now is a little guy. I don't know if I trust this this uh, German dude. Like, why let him through? Like, what to what end? Like, you're just gonna let this little kid in to join a war for what? Like, I I get it. You need every hand, but I feel like you already have some people enlisting. Someone like him could actually be a detriment, right? Like, if he can carry his own weapons, if he's strong enough to do it. Gentlemen, I'm Agent Carter. Oh, I, I just watched your Mission Impossible for this division. What's with the accent, Queen Victoria? Because I got a few moves I know you'll like. Oh, okay then. Agent Carter. Colonel Phillips. I can see that you are breaking in the Canada. <laughs> okay, I like her. We are going to win this war because we have the best men. <laughs> He's like, um... Who are you? And because they're going to get better. That flag means we're only at the halfway point. First man to bring it to me gets a ride back with Agent Carter. Move, move! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Incentivize them. <laughs> Nobody's got that flag in 17 years. So fall back in the line. Come on, fall in. Mm -hmm. Watch Steve do it. He's going to do it, right? He's going to figure out a way to do it. Oh, he's not going to use brawn. He's going to use his brains. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> well, I guess he gets to ride back with her. Okay, her red lipstick, like, it is perfect. That is the perfect red. You know, win wars with niceness, doctor. You haven't met Mr. Rogers. Guts. <gasps> Grenade! Oh, 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 oh. Get away! Get back! Oh my goodness. Wow. What character. Why did that look he want to make me cry? That he was the only one who threw his. Wow. It's a test? Yes. And if anyone passed scared. it, it was you. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know why that one of my... <laughs> why did that make me want to cry seeing him do that? My goodness. Oh, wow. That is heart. Without even a second thought. And these people have done nothing but treat him horribly. And he still just threw his body on that grenade. Mm. So he sends a head of Hydra. Brilliant scientist by the name of Johann Schmidt. He and Hitler share a uh, passion for... Occult power and Teutonic myth. But for Schmidt, it is not fantasy. He has become convinced that there is a great power hidden in the earth, left here by the gods, waiting to be seized by a superior man. Well, he's not wrong. The serum amplifies everything that is inside, so good becomes great, bad becomes worse. This is why you were chosen. has known power all his life. He lose respect for that power. But a weak man knows the value of strength. Oh, wow. Compassion. I like that. I like that. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. No, that is a very much a compliment. Good morning. Damn. Damn. Not now. Well, I get it. You want to document the moment for posterity and, you know, if it succeeds, about a before and after. Jesus. Somebody get that kid a sandwich. <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder if it'll work the first time or maybe they're going to have to, like, do it over. Mr. Stark, 
How are your levels? Levels at 100%. Good. Oh. We made dim half the lights in Brooklyn. But we are ready. Huh, I saw your, 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 your flying car didn't work too well. Will this work? You didn't say it would lift. <laughs> Stephen, can you hear me? Probably too late to go to the bathroom, right? Yeah. Well, at least you can make jokes. Seventy. Uh oh. Never. Shut it down. No. Maybe ha Oh. No. I can do this. Okay, you little crazy uh, <laughs> anemic, let's go. <laughs> what did you call him, a 90 pound asthmatic? <laughs> let's keep going. Oh, I guess it only took one try. Oh my goodness, his pecs. Congratulations. Are you a spy? What the? <gasps> oh shit. I like the doctor. Oh, my God. oh, keep your good heart. Yeah, he's reminding him to keep that heart of yours. Oh, <gasps> did y'all shoot? You had to shoot grandma. Did you have to? Did you have to kill grandma? Is she dead? Oh. So she, did you? Did you though? Oh, oh, can you catch a car? Does he have like super speed now? Oh, shit. Okay, maybe, maybe the glass, either he's freakishly strong and just went through it, or that glass is weak. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh my god! Oh, what? Put the child down! Such a coward move. What the hell? Oh my god. Little Timmy, can you swim? Go oh. get it! I can swim! Oh. <laughs> Little Timmy, oh my god, what the hell? What kind of advanced technology is this? I don't know if you can catch up to whatever the hell this thing is. Oh, he can. Yes! Drag his ass out. Cut off one head. Oh, Come on. cyanide. It's not take its place. Hail Hydra. Oh, that's the research division for the Nazis, right? Great. Can we make sure little Timmy get out that water <laughs> safely? Oh, he's finally recognizing what he can do now. But remember what the guy said, he pointed to your heart. Make sure you stay a good man. He deserved more than this. If it could work only once, he'd be proud it was you. Hmm. Sir? If you're going after Schmidt, I want in. You're an experiment. You're going to Alamogordo. I asked for an army, and all I got was you. Oh, you shit. We're not enough. You sure? Did you not see what the man did out there? He most definitely is enough. Son, you want to serve your country on the most important battlefield of the war. That's all I want. Then congratulations. You just got promoted. Two? Ball with us. You'll be leading your own platoon in no time. Oh, this is the 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 like the start of Captain America. Oh my God! I'm glad his suit gets upgraded. I like that. I like that. Ah, that'd be me. Huh. Hmm. I mean, I get the point of this, but I feel like for Steve, he wanted to be on the front lines. Like, not this. How many of you are ready to help me sock old Adolf on the job? 
Yeah, no. Okay. He's so far removed from like what they're actually going through out here, I guess. Bring back the girls! Yeah, they're like, we ain't trying to see a man in spandex. Oh, he can. Hello, Steve. He can draw. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Officially, I'm not here at all. That was quite. Phillips would have had me stuck in a lab. And these are your only two options: a lab rat or a dancing monkey. You were meant for more than this, you know. Mm-hmm. Is that a medic? Uh oh. They look like they've been through hell. Your audience contained what was left of the 107th. Oh, isn't that what James Barn? James James Barnes James Barnes whatever. Just need one name, Sergeant James Barnes from the 107th. Mm -hmm. The name does sound familiar. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Damn. What do you plan to do? Walk to Austria? If that's what it takes. You told me you thought I was meant for more than this. Did you mean that? Yes. Every word. Mm-hmm. In ranges, it's a factory of some kind. We should be able to drop you around the doorstep. If we're not in too much of a hurry, I thought we could stop off in Lucerne for a late night fondue. Stark. I see he's just like... Stark is the best civilian pilot I've ever seen. He's mad enough to brave this airspace. We're lucky to have him. So are you too. Do you... Fondue? Doubtful. Transponder, activate oh, it when you're ready, yes. and the signal will lead us straight to you. Ah. Is she Tony's mama? Wait, what? Don't, don't, don't come for me if that didn't make any sense. That she, or if the math ain't mathin'. <laughs> Shit. Fellas? You can take him out. Yeah, it should be light work for you. Make sure they're knocked out so that they can't get up and tell. <laughs> I would say kill them, but I don't think that's Steve Rogers' shtick. Bucky. Oh, he found his friend. Okay. Oh my God. Were they experimenting on him? <gasps> what if he's just like him now? It's me. It's Steve. Steve. Come on. Oh, he's like, wait, hold on. You don't look like Steve. You don't look like the Steve I know. Hold on. Are you taller than me? I thought you were smaller. Exactly. He's like, I really am. He must think this is a hallucination. No way in hell he thinks that it's real now. What's on that map? They keep showing it. Captain America! So, Dr. Aspen managed it after all. Ooh, I love this shot. Impressive. You got no idea. Oh my god. Damn. Did you punch it? Oh shit. He has super strength. What'd you do? Did he like punch him so hard he moved his the skin off his eye or something? Oh my god. This shot looks even oh my god, this is so the CI was his greatest success! His face is fake! Oh! Where's your nose? You don't have one of those, do you? No. One at a time. Oh my god! I'm afraid for you! Just jump it! Just jump it! Just jump it! Yes! Gotta be a rope or something! Just go! Get out of here! No, I'm going without you! Friendship. Love the bromance. <laughs> he can he yeah, I was about to say he should be able to jump that. You can do it. I believe in you. That's the cap that's, that's the power of America let me Ooh, Captain Captain America. He made it. He made it. Well, I hope that's a big comfort to you when they shut this division down. They won't. They're back. I saw people running in the background. Oh, and they got the high-tech weapons with them. Aww. I'm glad they're reunited and on the battlefield. 
I'd like to surrender myself for disciplinary action. No need. That won't be necessary. Mm-hmm. Let's hear it for Captain America! All right. And this is how the legend builds even more. <laughs> Moments like these. Allied eyeball looking for that main hydro base. What about us? We are going to set a fire under Johann Schmidt's ass. What do you say, Rogers? It's your map. You think you can wipe Hydra off? Of is that Marjorie Tyrell? I just got finished watching The Hunger Games and you were there. And now I'm watching... Ca you know what? I love a girl who's always employed. <laughs> you ready to follow Captain America into the jaws of death? Hell no. That little guy from Brooklyn, I was too dumb not to run away from a fight. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Captain. Agent Carter. Yes, Miss Red Dress, Miss Red Lip, Miss Red Heels. She really is perfect for this role. She does have that, like, old Hollywood look to her. I don't like music. I do, actually. I might, even when this is all over, go dancing. Then what are we waiting for? The right she... partner. That's what he said. I'm she invisible. wasn't looking at mm -hmm. I'm, I'm turning into you. This, this like all... <laughs> right about what you did. Oh, the, yeah. You're a hero. Well, that, you know, that, that depends on the definition. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, wow. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. Captain, we're ready for you if you're not otherwise occupied. Uh-oh. Well, what about you and Stark? How do I know you two haven't been fondueing? <laughs> you still don't know a bloody thing about women. <sighs> I hear you're uh, kind of attached. It's handier than you might think. I took the liberty of coming up with some options. What about this one? No, no, that's just a prototype. What's it made of? Vibranium. Vibranium. What you're holding there, that's all we've got. You quite finished with- So you turned the little bit that we had into a shield? <laughs> yes, yes ma'am! I think it works. Now what if it ricocheted? I get that it absorbs vibrations, but the- <laughs> What the hell? Oh! Well, that's handy. It comes right back. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems so weird seeing Captain America with a sword. A uh, sword, oh my goodness, uh, a gun. Where did I get sword from? <gasps> oh! Oh, you are brave. Well, that is one hell of an explosion. Remember when I made you ride the cyclone at Coney Island? Yeah, and I threw up. This isn't payback, is it? <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh, what in the video game? <laughs> you know when you're playing, you're like, okay, in Uncharted, you have those big guys with the big old guns, and they're slow moving, but they're hard to kill. Oh my god! Steve. Oh, okay. Barnes, we just got you back. Please don't die. There we go. He's an excellent shot. Works. I know he did. <gasps> Behind you! Damn! Bucky! Oh my god. Come on. We just rescued you. Did Bucky just... Oh, he's dead on impact. Shit. Not only is his best friend dead, he died in front of him. And you know he's gonna blame himself too because he didn't catch him or manage to bring him up. Did you believe in your friend? Did you respect him? Then stop blaming yourself. Allow Barnes mm. the dignity of his choice. I'm not gonna stop till all of Hydra's dead are captured. You won't be alone. 
Johann Schmidt belongs in a bug house. He thinks he's a god and he's willing to... He gets across the Atlantic, he will wipe out the entire eastern seaboard in an hour. Damn. It's not like we can just knock on the front door. Why not? That's exactly what we're gonna do. It's so interesting seeing Tony's dad at like these tables and being involved in, I don't know, the Captain America's origin story in a way. He's like involved in it. I guess he's coming right through, right for the front door. There's so many. This motorcycle is excellent. Is everything just blown up on impact? <laughs> Okay, the oh shit. Uh, use your shield and like hit all of them at once. Or oh, maybe he was supposed to get caught and then brought in. Okay, he's he's where he wants to be. But there are limits to what even you can do, Captain. Or did Eskin tell you otherwise? Tell me you were insane. <laughs> Damn. What made you so special? It's hard. Nothing. It I'm was just a, a kid from Brooklyn. Mm. Oh! I can do this all day. Oh, of <laughs> course you can. He does hate bullies. Tight oh, schedule. shit. Schedule. Oh, his buddies! So Please don't die. I... We don't need any more death. <gasps> oh. This punk, he's always running. Every time they come in, he runs. Did she have armor? Like protection? A helmet? Miss ma'am, if you're going into battle, I would like for you to be covered properly and protected. Let's go find two more. <laughs> I like that line. It hit him. Boom, right him. Shit. Oh, you lucky bitch. Oh. Damn it! He's such a coward, this redhead, the Schmidt, Johann Schmidt. It's like, dude, face him. Aren't you? Okay, Miss Carter. But no, seriously, where's your helmet, your your protection, something, anything? What you about to? Right. I thought they were about to kiss. I'm like, this is not the place, Mr. Rogers. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Come on, put, 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 the, put your foot to the metal. Damn. Oh, the penis car. Oh. We got super speed on this thing. Oh. Okay, so let's hit the nitro. Keep it steady. Wait. Okay, then. Go get him. I'm not kissing you. <laughs> 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. There we go. Oh, shit. So close. have bombs to drop over the so that's what he meant by everywhere uh oh no 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 shit come on punch it through punch oh shit take it out 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 Oh, that had to be the most brutal kill I've seen in Marvel yet. Oh my god. 
You get his ass out. There we go. Is he gonna crash into it? Oh shit! He really did. That's excellent aim. <laughs> Is he there? Oh shit! Just listen here. Stomp that red headed bitch in! Come on! Shit! Uh, let's right the plane? Where's it gonna land? You could have the power of the gods! I love how he says that while holding a gun. I don't think a gun, and whatever the hell you use to amp it, is the power of the gods. Seems very primitive. Space? Asgard? <laughs> what? What's going on? Oh. What's happening to him? Is it absorbing him? Oh, shit. Did it just absorb him and pull him into space? Maybe we should... No, no we need to get that thing back. That thing is... It, we just saw it open space, Mr. Rogers. So I think that should be our priority. Oh, that's right. It is about to crash into... Give me your coordinates. I'll find you a safe landing site. There's not going to be a safe landing. Uh, I'll get Howard on the line. He'll know what to do. There's not enough time. It's got time, right? We don't know how long it's going to take. Call... Get Howard on the... Please don't do this. We have time. We can work it out. Get Howard on the right phone now, right now. Nowhere. If I wait any longer, a lot of people are going to die. You don't know how far you are from New York? <laughs> Get Howard on the phone, Peggy! This is my choice. D don't you honor his choice, because this choice is stupid. Get Howard on the phone right now! Aww. He wants her to be the last thing he sees. You're gonna need a rain check on that dance. Eight o'clock on the dot. Don't you dare be late. You know, I still don't know how to dance. She can teach you. We'll have the band play something slow. I'd hate to step on your. Ooh, that's how she got cut off. Y'all gonna call Howard? No, no. How far away from New York was he? Y'all gonna pick the photo called Howard? Like, listen, we got some high tech shit. Can you navigate this? Can you tell us what to do here? I can describe some things to you. Now, Steve, did you really have to? <laughs> oh, God, Steve. Sir. You're trying to... You went after it. Take us to the next grid point. But there's no trace of wreckage. Just keep looking. Uh, oh, he wanted to find him. I'm glad he went out there to look. It's like the, the, the glowing cube was secondary to trying to find Steve. Aww. Look at that. Inspiring little boys. <gasps> Why did I forget that we found him at the beginning of the uh, movie? <laughs> we found that plane. <laughs> Is this him now? I forgot. We completely. We found his ass. <laughs> This must be so weird for him. Why do they got this man in present day listening out of- Oh! Good morning. It's not present day. I thought it was. Should I say afternoon? You're in a recovery room in New York City. I'm confused. So did they find him prior to? Where am I really? I'm afraid oh. I don't understand. It's from May 1941. I know because I was there. Oh, shit. Captain Rogers. Who are you? Oh. 
wait. Oh, wow. They didn't want all agents code 13. I repeat, oh. all agents code 13. Oh, this is so messy. Oh, my God. Can you imagine how tricky that must be for your mind? Oh, my God. Oh, oh this is like when he was running in the streets in New York, but now New York is, is out of New York. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh no, put me back in that room. <laughs> Nick Fury! Look, I'm sorry about that little show back there, but we thought it best to break it to- Why does he still look like he's on a grayscale or something? Like a, it's like a sepia. You've been asleep, Cap, for almost 70 years. Oh, shit. Put me back under. <laughs> I had a date. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're like, my... oh, I want you. Oh, wow. I like how that ended. <laughs> Wait, where's the end credits for this? Captain America will return in the Avengers. Oh, shit. Trying to get me back in the world? Kind of. Trying to save it. Hmm. Oh, wow. You think you're the only hero in the world? This is how they did it? Gentlemen, you're up. Oh, my goodness, the chills. I didn't mean swing. Oh, wow. So it came out May 2012. Oh, how that is incredible. That is incredible. I just watched an entire trailer for the next movie I'm going to watch. Oh, man, that was something else. Okay, so that was Captain America, the first Avenger. Can I just say that preview, that was like chill. Like you got goosebumps from watching that. Just the, the thought and the planning that went to create, like crafting. I, It's incredible when you see something and it's like infancy knowing what it then becomes like it's one thing when you 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 start off on the journey and, you, and and you're like taking it step by step and you watch it grow so you really don't know any any like you don't know any different like it just you 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 watch the wave grow and you were part of the wave but it's a different thing when you know how massive it all became and then you start and you go back to like when it was like a little little embryo little thought and you're watching it just grow into this fully fledged thing and just the planning like they filmed i would imagine yeah avengers would have had to have been done filming by the time captain america came out right like just the level of 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 thought and care to craft this is just I see why Marvel Cinematic Universe grew into what it's become and have all these like billion dollar box office and just the characters and them being iconic. I can see why a lot of people feel like what they're creating now pales in comparison to how this began because there was something so organic to this like just how can it like even though everything was planned it still happened so naturally because there was no formula they were creating the formula as they go like you have an idea but you don't know if it's going to pan out well you don't know what to, what it's going to grow into so you like there is no like corners you can cut because you're trying to grow the not the fan base but like it's like this slow moving train and 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 you want to lay the tracks as carefully as possible. So I can I can see why some people don't like Marvel now and like they're even though they were diehards back then because I feel like there's just something that's so irreplaceable to how organic this all feels. If you get what I'm saying like not to say that these actors were nobodies cuz you I do see familiar faces in this but it's like Rob, not to say, like, I'm pretty sure Robert Downey Jr. had a Oscar nom before he got casted, but his reputation had tanked prior to doing Iron Man. He was like a little nobody. Who knew who Chris Evans really was at the time or Edward? Like, all of these people were essentially, like, nobodies. Like, it just, it, there was no...
And it's like when you find little actors who are really good, they're great and carry the role, but they haven't had their breakout role yet. Rather than all of these big names that are now involved in Marvel. Not to say Samuel M. L. Jackson is not a big name. He is a big name. But you get what I'm saying? Like, to be the star focus of these movies. Like, who was Chris Evans prior to Captain America? Like, you know, all these characters. It just, oh. There's, I, I don't know. It's it, like, you get goosebumps. Now, let me talk about the actual movie. I feel like there was time. <laughs> to come up with a better plan, Mr. Rogers. I understand the heat of the moment, but I feel like on the other end, Peggy, and I forgot the, the, the his his commander's name, um, I feel like they, they were in the situation with him so they could have had like more thought to help him come up with the plan. But you know, it's it's a movie. Like, you know, you gotta you gotta go the hero way out and like die, but not really die. <laughs> but I feel like he could have, like, we don't know how far away from New York he was. He could have gotten on the phone, called Howard, like, hey, we're in this, like, really technologically advanced. And what is up with their advanced? Was it just this glowing cube? I forgot the name. I feel like they said the name in this, but I completely forgot. Like, early in the movie, they said it, but I complied. The continuity, sorry, that was such a random, like, but it, the thought hit me. The continuity of all the things we learned in Thor and the end credits of Thor just popping up in the beginning of the movie. And 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 not to mention Stark, we saw Howard Stark, and we saw the expo from Iron Man 2. Oh, the continuity as well. This is so great. My goodness, this is excellent. I, like, this level of detail, like, attention to detail and to string together, like, little nuggets of information in it. it and, and, and it's not throwaway information that they're putting in previous movies. It will matter, and they'll flesh it out in different ones. Oh, I love that. I'm a sucker for continuity. I'm a sucker for it. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Like I was saying, I feel like there was probably a way to save Captain Rogers and all of this, but you understand for the sake of the movie, like, no, you got to go the hero way out. And too bad for his friend, um, James Barnes, or, yeah, James Barnes is his name. Oh, I feel like, yeah, that kind of sucked that he couldn't get drunk at the end of that. <laughs> like, I feel like uh, the doctor should have let him, Dr. Askin, Askin, he should have let him get drunk prior. Like, what? Let the man have his drink before he can no longer get drunk. But yes, this was an excellent movie. Just the spirit of the thing. Like, what made Steve right for this wasn't... It had nothing to do with the physical and everything to do with the his intangibles. It's like when he jumps onto the, the bomb. Oh, my God. The heart of that. Everyone else runs. All these people who are far more, like, they're stronger, they're they're far more physically fit, they're faster, but every one of them ran. All of that that they had meant absolutely nothing when it came down to like using his body to cover that bomb. Oh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Oh, it was a bit trippy seeing Howard Stark in this and like getting a glimpse of Tony's dad and now seeing now we're going to see Tony and Steve in Iraq going forward, knowing that he knew his dad. Oh, that's so weird. And knowing the kind of relationship Tony had with his father was like strained in the end. Oh, this is so good. This was so good. My, I'm sorry. My thoughts are all over the place because this was just so... I did not expect it was unexpected to see the trailer because that like dumped a whole bunch of information on me that I did not see coming so now my mind is like oh <laughs> anyways if you enjoyed the reaction please leave a like and tell me what you all thought of the movie down below and subscribe thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you a million for watching thank you for the support I appreciate it I love y'all. I love y'all. I can't wait for us to get into the Avengers. It's next and then we hit phase two and then I think phase two starts with Iron Man 3. So we bring it right back around to Tony kind of like we did with the first Iron Man. <gasps> wait, there's no Iron Man 4, right? I was going to say what if uh, uh, phase three starts with Iron Man 4, but I don't think I saw a four for that. Oh, well. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all for the next one and take care, everyone. Bye.
And a special shout out to the patrons, Midgey, Maya, Jenny, Katie, Tawny, See Through Battle Monsters, Terrence, Sarah, Tyler, Juan, Beto, Ash, Nicole, Freddie, Marcella, Gabrielle, Alicia, Carmdahl, Sushi Senpai, Cozy Cobra, Gazelle, Maddie, Kate, Victoria, Queen Lydia, Sierra's Reaction Corner, Dexter, Chair Shy Cat, Drew, that weird person shirley luke salty cammy andrew wanyo jk klaus cersei rosary dove ivan kacha nino andrew christina donovan haley yoslin dev nicole lauren sella k and d zeph nathan and casey thank you all so much bye